What's up guys, this is Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix blurry screen problem on Windows 11. So before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, then you can just comment down below or visit our website and submit your problem there and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first solution that I can offer you guys is to change your screen resolution on your laptop or your PC. To do that, just go to your windows search and search for settings in the windows settings go to the display section and then in there go to scale and set the setting as recommended and then go to display resolution and also set the drop down option as recommended then just restart your computer and see if the problem is fixed the second solution is to edit your clear type data text so for doing that just go to your windows search and search adjust clear type text and then open it up and once you open up clear type text just check turn on clear type box and then select next and then once you see a text sample just select which one is less blurry to you and then click on next and then follow this dialog box till you reach the end of all the steps and once you finish this troubleshooting just close this down by selecting the finish option and then restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. The next option to solve this problem of blurry screen on Windows 11 is to use performance settings. So just go to your search icon again and then select view advanced system settings. Once you search this, just open it up and then under the advanced settings, you'll see a performance column. Just select settings and then make sure that you have selected it just for best appearance. Then just click on apply and see if your blurry screen is removed. The next fix will fix any blurry screen on a specific app on your Windows 11 PC. So for doing that, we'll use DPI settings. So just go to your Windows search icon and then type in the name of the app which is having a blurry screen on Windows 11. Then just right click on the name of the app and then select open file location. Once you open the file location, then just right click on the exe file and then select properties. Then click on compatibility and then change high DPI settings. After that, the high DPI settings dialog box will open up and make sure that you check the boxes for use this setting to fix scaling problems for this program instead of the one in settings and override high DPI scaling behavior. Once you do this, also make sure that under scaling performed by it is set to application then just click on apply and then select ok and restart your computer and check if the issue is fixed if it is not fixed we move on to the next solution so the next solution is changing your graphics preference just go to your windows search and search for settings in settings just go to display then in display scroll down and you will find related settings section in there select graphics and then select the app that you're having a problem with, which is having a blurry screen on Windows 11. And then just from that list, click on that specific app and then select options. Then select high performance and then click on save and then restart your computer. Now, if even this doesn't work, we still have a few more solutions to go. The next one is updating your graphics driver to the latest version. So for that, just go to your Windows search and then search for device manager. Once you open up device manager, expand the display adapters section. In it, you will find all the integrated and dedicated graphic drivers that are on your computer. Then make sure that you do the following for all the graphic drivers in that list. Just right click on the display driver and then choose uninstall driver. And if a dialog box opens up, then make sure to uncheck delete the driver software from this device option and once you do this then just go to the top menu of device manager and then under the action tab select scan for hardware changes now once you do this the display adapter should appear back in the list but if it does not just restart your computer and it will appear back in the list in device manager then just again right click on the display driver and then this time select update driver then select search automatically for drivers and once this process finishes restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. If it did not then again go back to device manager and to the display adapter driver 
and this time when you choose update driver you choose browse my computer for drivers and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer then just select the driver you want to install generally it is the pre-selected option in the list which is mostly the topmost option but it is the pre-selected option so you don't have to change anything and then just click on next and then restart your computer to apply the changes and check whether the problem is fixed now if it doesn't work then what you can do is try to download the graphic drivers from your graphic card or your laptop manufacturer's official website and manually install it so just go to your laptop manufacturers or graphic card manufacturers website and download the latest drivers for your specific model and then you just have to install it restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem now the next solution is to use dism and sfc commands to fix this problem so go to your windows search and search for command prompt then just right click on command prompt and select run as an administrator. Once you do this, then just type in the following commands on command prompt. I'll link these down in the description below for you to check out. What these commands do is they scan your PC automatically and automatically install broken or missing Windows files for you and fix specific problems. So these commands are very nice if you have any problems on Windows. And once you do this, just restart your computer and check whether your problem is fixed. The final option that I can tell you guys is to do a clean boot. So for that, just go to your windows search and search for run. In run, type in msconfig and then select ok. Then in the general tab, select selective startup and then deselect load startup items. Once you do this, then just go to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft services to ensure you don't disable any essential system services. Then just click disable all to remove the listed third party services from the startup and click apply and then OK. After that, just restart your computer and check whether the problem is fixed. If your problem is fixed, that means the problem was caused by one of the third party services. So what you can do is go back to system configuration and then start re-enabling those services manually one by one to check which one actually caused this issue and then you can uninstall it so this was it for this video guys i hope you like this video and it helped you out if it did just like the video and remember to subscribe to the channel and if you still have any problems what you can do is again you can comment down below or visit our website and submit your problem there and we'll make a solution video for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then bye